So welcome guys, um, my name is Peter Edet and my name is Edgar Leroy and today we are going to be doing something interesting. So Edgar, what are we doing? We're going to be unboxing this bad boy, the Zhiyun Weibo S. Say slowly. Zhiyun Weibo S. S. Okay, <laughs> so not only are we unboxing, right? We're going to unbox it, show you how to set it up, you know, all the little... Yeah, things. move it from here to here. Yeah, basically from this box to ta-da. Okay, so Edgar, where do we start? So we're going to start with unboxing. Yes. And with all these years of experience, see had the mind to bring this one on set and then take a call. I handle this one. I'm coming. We're supposed to do this thing together. <laughs> Calm down. You've done this before. You're fine. Okay. Um, so straight out of the box, you have this um, styrofoam box that's coming out of like this beautifully wrapped white nylon. Yeah. Okay. So dig in. And then, um, all right, let me just run this camera up here so that I give you guys an interesting perspective. All right. I think we're good to go. All right. So the most prominent thing inside this box is the gimbal, actually. You have this beautiful design game box. Uh, the game ball, the game ball is predominantly plastic, one or two metal here and there. But yeah, you know, well, for the price, we are grateful. Um, you have the batteries. These are the Xeon. They have some fancy name that I don't even know. These batteries will give you about fourteen hours. Yes, about fourteen hours of run, like in an entire day. Yeah, I don't know if your body can take it. Then with the charger as well. Okay, so you have this um, very interesting looking um, tripod base for the gimbal so that you could have it like stand on a surface on its own. And then you have um, you have this riser plate just in the situation where you're working with like gimbals and lenses, like working with lenses where the lens is like, you know, scrubbing on the base plate. And then you have this base plate, the double quick release base plate with like a lens support thing that you can definitely screw and unscrew. Yeah, love this guy. Give you some level of stability, extra stability because of the point of contact it will create with the gimbal, like an extra point of contact with the lens instead of having it like hang out, you know, hang out front. So yeah, you have this guy. Um, Another good thing is that I think you can unscrew this little side here and then push push this side and then there you go. So it's like a double quick release thing. In a situation where you want to like quickly grab a shot off gimbal handheld or something, you just pop that out and then your camera is flying. Okay, and then you have this little box of goodies. So in this box you have cables, extra screws, uh, I have like three screws in here. Mm -hmm and then like a ton of cables yeah so you have like the usb to type c um I should, like so these cables would like do stuff like um running your full focus um gear running um connecting you to like maybe um yeah then primarily like the full focus system that's where all of these guys will come in but we don't have the pro combo pack so I'm not even going to bother myself. Okay. So pretty much that is what comes in the box. Oh yeah. Then you have this little envelope thing. Um, you have this envelope thing that has like... I don't know what this is. This is like a manual. Yep. Who reads a manual these days? Then the service card. Yeah. One thing I love about Weibo, this Weibo, these young guys is that they are really, really trying hard with their customer service. So there was this one time that I had a problem with uh, my Zhiyun Crane 3S. So the tripod leg was like bad and it was like dangling and everything. And then I whipped them an email. They came back to me, asked for pictures and videos, and then I sent it to them, they asked for my receipt. And I was still within my warranty period and they shipped me a new tripod all day from China for free, no extra cost. So these guys are amazing. I love them. So yeah, that is it. That is it. That is what is in the box. 
So I think I'll probably like move on to putting this beast together. Yeah. So everyone like running through it will probably like just gist about what it can do, what it cannot do, payload and all that kind of things. One mind blowing information I just realized was this guy can carry like the red Komodo with like um I think like a 24 to 105 G Master or something. No. Oh, it has to be like an imam. So it can this gimbal can carry like a red Komodo with like a proper 24 to like 105 and it can equally carry like the S1H with like a 24 to 105 lens. The question is how can this tiny piece of gear you know pack such a punch to like carry that kind of weight? So you have this this the tripod thing like you screw it down here and then very interestingly you have this little um what i call it like a locking mechanism to help you so there you go you can like push down and up you know so what this does is that it helps you to secure your tripod you know now we've screwed it in but then in the situation where we don't want to like accidentally screw it off or we don't want this guy to come weak loose at some point then we push that lock and then you know there's like some resistance for you to like lock and unlock right now yeah so there you go then one other beautiful thing about this gimbal is the fact that it comes with like this locking mechanisms you know so you can like lock your gimbal's axis while you balance it just helps you stay sane all right for the purpose of this video i don't think we're going to be using this guy or should we probably okay so you have this arrow right here that you know aligns with this other arrow just to give you a sense of orientation on how to slide in your your base plate yep okay so what camera are we going to use um we're going to work with this bad boy right here this is the canon 5d mark 3 with the 16 to 35 f 2.8 if i'm not mistaken yeah f 2.8 so worthy of note is the fact that you need to take off all extra accessories from your camera and lens before you put it on your gimbal you know any straps lens hoods um anything that you don't necessarily need you know you don't absolutely need take it off because it's going to help you know reduce the weight and then the less weight you have on your gimbal the more you know easy your balancing will be and then the less weight you have to carry the entire day or the entire shoot all right so um where are those screws at One quick, one quick tip, yeah? One quick tip. Whenever you want to like mount your camera to your base plate, you know, always try to make sure that this particular hole here, which is like the hole for your lens support, you know, always make sure that it is on the lens side of the camera every time. That is sometimes, you know, you can accidentally now mount it backwards and then you find yourself in hell to like redo everything. Um, another thing I'm going to do now is I'm trying to like find my center of balance, center of gravity. Maybe I should take one. I'll take one. All right. So the reason why I am mounting this, um, the reason why I'm mounting this camera on at this level is because of the lens, right? So I'm trying to balance the camera in such a way that um, when I balance it, I'll be able to find a middle ground, you know, between the camera body and then the lens. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's go. So, secure your camera very well. I wish I had the biggest screwdriver, and this would do just fine. So, there we go. Um, memory card is in, battery is in. Just confirm. All right, so we're good to go. First off, we're going to install the batteries, right? So, on the neck of the gimbal, you know, just above the screen and this entire system down here, you have this guy. So, you slide it back and then you put your batteries looking at positive and negative signs so that you insert them properly yeah so with this um, we're good to go and then you know remember the arrow that I showed you earlier so like just slot it in very important if you don't yet click don't let go it's your life depends on it literally all right so um you could push in sometimes it would, it would like go in by itself 
but sometimes you need to like push this little button on the side this little, little silver button just so that um, you know your camera would slide in easily all right so one more time slide it in all right why is it not the click sound because i'm pressing this in manually there you go there you go that sound beautiful sound we want to lock all the all the axes right so we've locked the pan the pan axis the roll axis and then the tilt axis so we're going to unlock the tilt axis to balance from the tilt axis first off so what we're going to do is um another quick tip now is balancing the gimbal is not so we will get power pass you understand so it's literally just you romancing and cuddling your gimbal ever so slightly until you get that balance yeah so once you do that you know once you do that you want to lock this guy on the side firm firmly very firmly so you see you know whatever we do the camera will like balance and come back so now we're done with um with the base plate balancing the base plates and then now you're going to like tilt the camera to face the ceiling and then you have this um, thumb screw that you're going to um, you know you unscrew it and then you now push the camera on this axis to find the balance right um let me lock this guy so that we are a little bit more sane around here so now there you go you know we found that that sweet spot yeah there you go so we like lock this guy so now what should happen is if you tilt your camera in whatever angle on the tilt axis it should stay so we're done with the tilt axis we're now going to move to the row axis so for you to unlock the row axis you have this knob on the left and then you see the camera like literally falls on one side so you have this um this thing this lock um, underneath the camera that is where you balance that is where you balance the the row axis okay so for this guy now we're going to since it's falling on the left we're going to have to like push to the right oh push it just now and then you're going to have to like lock firmly underneath and then try again and then it's stayed okay that's cool so we're done with the row axis and then now you have the pan axis so with the pan axis the way you want to go about checking the balance is um you know you carry the camera like tip it to the front and then lean it to one side this camera is like so off balance from the pan axis so we want to now um you know either push forward or push backward just so that you know we can achieve that balance so you just do those micro adjustments you see now the camera is going to the other side that means we have passed that balance that's balance spot so I'll bring it back a little bit more and then try again I barely even moved it so there you go if you notice you know it doesn't like fall to one side anymore so there you go the gimbal is balanced um, you know you can do as you please the next thing is to power it yeah so you hold down the power button for like three seconds there you go <clears throat> incredible looks really beautiful look at the pan you can actually go inside the menu and customize you know the speed with which the gimbal will follow your movements and all that kind of stuff but yeah it looks amazing love it i'm back hi guys i know okay so we spoke about sponsor and not yet i was why? just about to why no so do it now let me just now now okay that's how we get this yeah yeah you're right so have you ever had this issue where you're struggling to like find this one-stop shop where you can find everything for photography and videography then that is where camera join comes in camera join is like a one-stop shop for everything from lights cameras lenses gimbals accessories straps battery memory card everything you name it they have it nuts and bolts nuts and bolts <laughs> i know i know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so they have everything for you and they have amazing customer service they have amazing yep. prices i've been like working with these guys for like what for, like, like my entire life from camera yeah joint. everything everything in this studio right now everything literally literally camera joint 
So wait, we wait. Proudly proud. Like, it's actually like everything you say is on camera joint, though. So, literally, we're powered by camera joint. See? Yeah. Be like us. And it's then they were, they were so kind. They were so kind to, like, send us this, um, this game ball. Yeah, this amazing game ball. Sent us this game ball to, like, review. Sent us this camera. This is the 5D Mark III with the lenses, the Sony, everything. Like, they just sent us a truckload of equipment. Like, yo, guys, you guys should use this thing. Have fun. Create play. stuff. Have fun. You know feed the community and we're glad we're here we're glad you're there you know Don't looking for this to check it out and yeah check them out check them out to come and buy my key see. so i will allow you again to come to me let me pack my loot me i'm done <laughs> <laughs>